David Bowie's 40th birthday today, and he's just announced he's coming out of retirement for a major world tour starting in Europe in the spring. Well, Heather Scott has been looking back at the career of the man described as the most influential British rock musician of the 70s. David Bowie is now one of the grand old men of the pop business. He's part of that elite band of reformed rockers who mix with royalty, do good works and have houses all over the world. He was born David Jones in 1947 at Brixton in South London and by the 60s was playing the church halls and youth clubs. His first top ten hit was in 1969 with Space Oddity, but it was only in the 70s when he shot to international fame with his outrageous style. He hid behind a mask of makeup as he metamorphosed through various bizarre characters. His Ziggy Stardust, the strange androgynous creature, shocked the establishment, especially when he announced he was bisexual. In 1973, his fans and his own band were equally shocked when he made a surprise announcement on stage. Not only is it the last show of the tour, but it's the last show that we'll ever do. For the man dubbed the supreme pop chameleon, there was also Aladdin Sane and the weird half-man, half-beast of Diamond Dogs. By the middle of the 70s, he was overindulging in sex, drugs and drink. And by 1976, when he appeared in the film The Man Who Fell to Earth, he was almost at rock bottom. But by the 80s, the man who's described himself as unstoppable had rehabilitated himself. His acting appearances received critical acclaim, and he also went on a world tour which netted him 20 million pounds. Last year, he drew widespread praise for his music and stylish, wishy performances in the film Absolute Beginners. David Bowie's latest role is as the Goblin King in the fantasy film Labyrinth. And 15 years on, the character bears an uncanny resemblance to the old Ziggy Stardust. Heather Scott for TVAM. Don't defy me. You're no match for me, Sarah. Ah, interesting man. It is, isn't it? Yeah, I think Wincy's sort of wilted somewhere in a corner. She's in a heap. So he's 40 today. 40 today. Did you read the, the story about how he met his wife? No, go on. They were introduced by a mutual lover. Oh. Interesting, uh, isn't it? Yes. <clears throat> uh, they've got a, a, a child, Zoe. They, Zoe yeah, Bowie. They, well, they, yes, they had a child called Zoe, or, Zoe Bowie or yes. Zoe Bowie. Uh, he's now called Jerry. <laughs> yes. He's now called Jerry. He goes to Gordonston. Is he now? Yes, he's, I think he's about 15 now. He won't have a big stripe down his face. Doesn't like music very much either. No, he hasn't got a big stripe. No, no. No. Mm -hmm. There's one other interesting fact. Yeah? Um, he travels with a library of 1,500 books, Bowie, everywhere he goes. Can you imagine it, the well, pain it's... on meeting the Bowie troop everywhere? Yes. Having to carry their luggage. Yeah. You wouldn't think he'd get through 1,500 books no matter where he's going to stay. Mm. And also, he's a, an avid collector, I hear, of German Impressionist art. Is he? Yes. He is. Uh, other interesting <laughs> fact, he's a man. Um, he is, a, he is he well, we think so. He's very rich. Yes. And he's a singer. Yes. And he's 40. Yes, and Wincy will put you right in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're watching a few minutes ago, you'll know that if it's your birthday, you share it with David Bowie, who's 40 today, as well as two other famous people. Ron Moody, the actor, is 63, and Monty Python star Graham Chapman, well, he's 46. Apart from David Bowie's birthday today, which is incredibly important, of course, a lot of people will be remembering that it was Elvis Presley's birthday today. He would have been 51.